This question is from the October 2020 non-calculator U.S. exam. College Board gives us a paragraph about land area, where they give the land area of Aruba is 75 square miles, the land area of Bermuda is 19 square miles, and a geographer uses the equation 75x plus 19y equals t, the total number of residents of the two islands. So that's the area of Aruba times x plus the area of Bermuda times y equals the total number of residents. And they're asking, what's the best interpretation of x in this context? Let's jump to choice C, the total number of residents of both islands. But t is the total number of residents of both islands. So 75 times a number that's equal to that will be much bigger than t. So choice C is not correct. Choice A, number of residents of Aruba. If you take 75 times the number of residents of Aruba, and so that's the total land area times the number of residents, and then the total land area of Bermuda, presumably times the number of residents of Bermuda, you're going to get something a whole lot bigger than the total number of residents of the two islands. So total residents does not make sense. Could x be the number of square miles of Aruba? We're told Aruba is 75 square miles, there's no logical reason you would multiply the number of square miles by the number of square miles. That does not seem connected to t, the total number of residents. So it sounds like population density in residents per square mile would be the right answer. And if you think about this, residents per square mile for Aruba times 75 square miles will give you residents for Aruba. And if y is residents per square mile for, for Bermuda, that times the number of square miles will give you residence for Bermuda, so the sum is t, so choice d makes sense. College Board often asks you to interpret the variables in an equation written from a word problem, or to write the equation from a word problem. So you make sure you're comfortable with these, and especially take the time to read it carefully, and make sure that the answer you're choosing fits the context of the question. And come back soon for my next video with math there's always more.